Oh, you just pick a direction. <laughs> and it just does it. Good golly. All right, let's see what happens if I go to power loop. Power loop is selected. Push forward. Wow. What the Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we have the brand new DJI Goggles N3. Now these are the latest technology from DJI that include the O4 protocol, which is the latest version of their video transmission system for crystal clear pictures. However, these don't have all the features of the Goggles 3. They are actually a little bit less featured, but also less cost. So if you're looking to get into flying FPV, and want to do digital with O4, these might be a great option if you don't want to spend a lot of money because they are less expensive. Let's check them out. So I believe you'll be able to buy these goggles by themselves, but you can also buy them with the DJI Neo and two additional batteries for a total of three batteries and the Motion Controller 3. So this all can come as a kit if you want to get into flying FPV very quickly and very easily. And with this Motion Controller, you can do some really interesting things as far as hitting gaps and as far as actually doing some acro in their easy acro mode, which we'll show you in a minute. But right now, I just want to try these on and kind of see how they feel and how they fit. They are a little bit bigger and bulkier than the uh, Goggles 3. So let me turn them on. You turn them on by pushing this button twice and wait till you get that beep. Another thing is they don't have a battery indicator necessarily to say how much battery there is, but I'll put these up here. I'll turn on the Neo. I'll turn on the RC Motion 3. I've already bound all these things together so that they're all talking to one another. Those beeps indicate that they've found each other. One other thing about the Goggles N3 is that they don't have adjustable diopters for people who need corrective lenses. So what you probably need to do is wear your glasses and from what I've seen, they're big enough to fit over your glasses. So if you wear readers or something like that, you can actually put them on and they do fit pretty well. But for me, the readers actually are better at this distance. So I'm better off just to see without them at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these readers down and take off and fly a little bit using the Motion 3. Overall impression of the Goggles N3 is really good right out of the gate. It's O4 protocol, so the, the video quality is super clear. I've got it set to 1080 60, so my refresh rate is fast enough that I can see things pretty clearly and it's not jittery. One thing we noticed was it didn't automatically record on takeoff, so we're gonna go to camera, advanced camera settings, uh, record with both, auto record on takeoff. So that's going to allow it to actually start recording on both the goggles and the drone as soon as you take off. So if you're not familiar with the RC Motion 3, it is a device that allows you to fly with one hand, just like this, kind of rotate your wrist and fly forward by pulling this trigger, and it flies straight towards wherever you put the little circle in the viewfinder. And that circle gives you a pretty accurate depiction of where you're gonna go, which for me is interesting because I think it lets you hit kind of smaller gaps than you might be able to hit normally, especially if you're not as skilled. So like for instance, this space here between this fence, I'm gonna just line it up with the dot. There's a pretty small gap right there, but I can see I'm going through it and I'm going through it and no problem. You still get the little bit of a weird head tilt sometimes when you're flying with the, oh, I'm getting winded, pushed by the wind, when you're flying with the goggles. I'm not sure if these goggles are a little bit heavier than the Goggles 3, but they're very comfortable. They feel fine on my head. So what do we think? Can we hit that little tiny gap in the goal post? Yeah, it's pretty windy. So I'm getting pushed around a fair amount. There's one. There's, there's two, sort of. <laughs> so one of the things I do like about these goggles a lot is the size of the screen in comparison to my field of vision. It feels pretty perfect. It feels like I can see all of the screen. I can look around uh, using my main vision and then my peripheral vision. I feel like I just have a good awareness of everything I see within the screen. It's not 
too wide a field of view and it's not too narrow of a field of view. It's kind of the just right. They must have really um, researched that or just taken information from their previous goggles and decided, all right, this is what the field of view should be and it's the ideal field of view for flying FPV. I mean, if you're just starting out flying FPV, honestly, this is a great way to go because analog FPV is just challenging because there's lots of breakup, especially when you go a little ways away from yourself. The range on this is a lot better when it comes to how far you can go before it starts to break up. I mean, it's way farther than you should go. The detail is really clear, and you can see little tiny things that you might run into, things that we call ghost branches in the FPV world. So like going through here, for example, I'm gonna see if I can see some ghost branches. Ghost branches are just little tiny branches that you might not be able to see very well and you crash into, but with this, you can see them, especially branches that don't have leaves on them. So like I'll go over here and there's this dead tree and I can see there's some little tiny branches, so I go up above them. Ghost branches won't get you as badly if you can actually see them and avoid them. And yeah, again, just lining up my little cursor with, uh, with where I wanna go is just letting me take these fairly tight gaps without a whole lot of effort. One other cool thing about the Goggles N3 is that they do have a USB-C output and also that's where you charge it on the top and that allows you to connect to your phone and get a real-time view of whatever the drone is seeing. So if you wanted to fly with the goggles and hand this off to somebody to watch, you could do that. So now I wanna show you Easy Acro with the Neo. Easy Acro is something that came out with the Avada 2, and it was a way for people who had never flown Acro before to be able to do some cool tricks. So to get into Easy Acro, you just swipe the joystick down, and you go over to this little uh, arrow with the lines behind it, and you push down. That puts you into Easy Acro mode. Right now the three options are slide, 180 drift, and flip. You can't do any of them yet because we're not in the air, so you can push the joystick up to get rid of that menu double click on the motion controller three, and then hold down the button and you'll take off. So right now you'll notice in my goggles that the flip is grayed out. The reason flip is grayed out is because I'm not high enough in the air. So right now I could do slide or 180 drift. So slide is just a way for you to maneuver the drone in easy acro to get you where you wanna be in order to do the trick. So I'm gonna turn the wheel for 180 drift, and I'm going to go forward, and then joystick turn to the left, and there we go. Now Chris has volunteered to let me do a 180 drift around him. Here I go, gonna go down, go next to him, and push the joystick to the right, and you see I kinda went around him in a 180 drift. Do the same thing going the same direction, or going back this direction, and I'll push it to the left. A little too soon. So if you time it well, your drone will kind of keep the subject in the center of the screen. Okay, let me get really close. I like that. I'm gonna get close to Chris, and here we go. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Now, of course, you wanna be aware when you're going backwards that you don't wanna hit the ground or run into a tree or anything. So one other thing about the 180 drift is it will continue to go backwards for a period of time and then it will eventually stop. So here we go, 180 drift, going towards us, getting some speed, and there's the 180 drift. I'm still holding this, the trigger down, it's still going backwards, but then eventually it slows down and stops. Now the other option we have is the flip, and the flip is just like it sounds, it's a flip. So I'll go to where I wanna be, and I'll push the joystick, and it'll flip and it flips, it spins both directions. If you're up high enough, you can do the flip as you go forward. You can do the flip as you are turning. And it gives you a nice, clean, easy flip. Now, the one thing that is not included with the Neo for Easy Acro is the power loop. Power loops are pretty challenging to do for people. Chris and I have done many of them. Chris is pretty good at it, I'm okay. But we're gonna try that using the Avada 2. 
As we mentioned earlier, you can fly the Avada 2 with the goggles N3. And all you gotta do for that is go to status, go up to switch, switch to Avada 2, hit switch. So now that we have switched, it's the same way you take off. And remember, if your drone is flying really slow, you might be in beginner mode. So go into the menu and turn that off if you don't wanna fly super slow. And then once you have done this, you can go to your uh, top menu by pushing down on this joystick and going over to Easy Acro. Uh, oh, unable to do it because we're recording. So we will stop the recording. We will start Easy Acro and then we'll start the recording again. You'll notice there are now four options. There's your slide, which is basically just your way of kind of maneuvering yourself around to get yourself in the right position using the joystick on the Motion Controller 3. But then there's also your 180 drift, your flip, and your power loop. We just demonstrated 180 drift and flip using the Neo, but we did not demonstrate power loop because the Neo can't do power loops. It's not uh, powerful enough, but the Avada 2 is. So let's try the power loop. So I'm gonna slide the option down to power loop and I'm gonna push up on the joystick and boom, nice power loop. Interestingly, as it's doing that, I see some sort of a little thing on the ground. Yeah, like a little arrow. Let me do it again and see if I can tell what it is. Yeah, it's almost like the spot that it's looping over. Maybe as we edit this, we can slow that down in the goggles and show you what that little arrow looks like. So let's do this. Um, let's hover it. Chris, would you mind moving the uh, landing pad out to kind of near the drone? I'll bring it over closer to you. Yeah, like put it right there. And then let me get right over it. So we're gonna try the power loop from here. And I wanna see if that little arrow is actually on the landing pad. It was not, it was, it was kind of diagonal from it, but maybe that's because it goes forward a little bit before it power loops. Get, let me try it one more time. So here we go to power loop and push the joystick forward. Yeah, you like that? I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> uh, one other thing for consideration. You'll notice now that flip and power loop are not enabled. They are both grayed out. And the reason is because we're too close to the ground. So if you go up a little bit, now you see flip and power loop are both available because we're high enough off the ground for it to safely do that. So now I can just go to flip and push the joystick and it flips. Very tight flip. It's kind of amazing what the drone is capable of when it's being flown by software instead of a person. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna also real quick uh, demonstrate the fact that the goggles N3 do support head tracking. So you can go to the joystick and you can hit head tracking and you can turn, I guess you gotta turn uh, Easy Acro off and then you can turn head tracking on. You can see that as I turn my head, the drone turns. As I tilt my head, the gimbal tilts. So if you like to be able to fly kind of one direction while you're looking another direction, it sort of lets you do that. I'm not very good at the head tilting tracking thing, but it is an option if you like it. It's pretty good for the tilt though, to allow you to tilt up and down. You wanna feel like you're flying straight at the ground, even though you're actually not because your gimbal is tilted down, but you're flying forward. You can see I'm flying forward. Let me get rid of this menu. So you can see I'm flying forward, but I'm looking down. Now I'm flying forward, but I'm looking up. Now I'm flying forward, but I'm looking right. Looking left. Yeah. It's a little bit of a thing you gotta get used to, but the goggles N3 definitely support head tracking. So a couple little things I wanted to point out about the goggles N3. First of all, I actually like this foam better than the rubber that's on the goggles 3. I feel like this is more comfortable 
It might absorb sweat and smell a little bit worse if you sweat in it, but for now, where it's actually cool outside, this makes a nice tight seal around my face. I haven't noticed a lot of light leak, so that's pretty cool. Similar antennas as the Goggles 3 and the Goggles 2, these little ones that flip up, which are pretty nice for storage. The USB port is right here on top, and there is also a micro SD slot here on top. And then the power button, which is over on the side, actually doesn't indicate the power level unless it changes color when it's low. We've been using it and then just recharging it. We haven't run the battery down past 50%, but for now, just know that there's not the little dots that you have on the other goggles. But of course you do have the ability to look inside these and see that the power level is there. These goggles don't have the little sensor that turns the screen off when you take them off, so the screen's gonna stay on all the time. Um, they do have a little top spot here, so I guess if you wanted to put a top strap on, you could actually do that. There's one on the battery and one on here. Even though I do like the fact that on the goggles too, you can change batteries and swap them out. That way you could run through several batteries while you were flying. Uh, the integrated battery is nice. It just doesn't get in the way. It doesn't have to sit anywhere. And the weight of it is on the back of your head, kind of balancing out the weight of the goggles themselves. As far as comfort goes, they're big, so they're a little bit heavy. But again, the foam is so nice that when you put them on and you tighten them down a little bit, I can see a tiny bit of light leak coming in from like right there but it's just like a little sliver and I'm in a pretty bright room right now. And if I had them on, I don't think it would impact my flying at all. I haven't had any issue with that. But overall, what you should concentrate on is the video quality that you get with O4 and it is fantastic in these and a better deal price-wise than the more expensive goggles. One other quick public service announcement about any goggles, DJI goggles or any other FPV goggles, is they do have diopters and lenses and a uh, screen in them that are very susceptible to sunlight. And I don't mean light leak, I mean direct sunlight that can burn them. Much like if you take a magnifying glass and you put it onto some grass or a leaf, it will burn the leaf. Uh, the diopters in here can burn the screen. So when you are outdoors uh, on a bright day like today, you wanna make sure to always have the goggles facing downward and away from the sun and don't leave them sitting out with them up like this unless you're in the shade like I am right now. I feel like this is okay, but if I was over in the sun, there's a good chance I'd burn my screen. So overall, I think the Goggles N3 are a great deal if you're getting into flying FPV. And if you currently own the Avada 2, they work with it. If you own the Neo or if you wanna buy the combo that includes the Neo, uh, it's gonna work with it. And I have a feeling they're gonna open it up to other drones once those drones have updated software and firmware. I don't know that for a fact, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if these become compatible with other drones that are out right now, including camera drones. But I think it's a really great thing to have a less expensive pair of high quality digital goggles that uses O4, the latest protocol for video transmission. Let me know what you think. If you're into flying FPV, if you've never flown FPV and you're thinking about it, thinking about getting the Neo kit that includes the goggles and the Neo, let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate you watching and we look forward to seeing you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Good morning. <laughs> Siri wants to join the party. Siri, go away. Okay. <laughs>